Hello, Clouds here and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. In today's very extremely exciting video, we are going to have a look at the new features in DaVinci Resolve 17. In this case, we're going to have a look at the Magic Mask. So without further ado, let's start using the Magic Mask. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 and we're going to have a look at the fantastic Magic Mask. So let's just jump into the color tab here and we have our ma um, Magic Mask right here. We're going to click that. Make sure that we are on the qualifier and then what we want to track, in this case we just want to track me here. And um, you can either track a person or features and there is a different way. We'll look into that in one second. So in the first case we're just going to track me. So we're going to take the eyedropper tool here make sure the qualifier is selected and then we are just going to draw a line here and here we can actually see what is done already because this is the mask overlay if you want to toggle then on and off you can do that right here so what we need to do now is we need to let DaVinci Resolve do its thing and that basically just means that we're going to track this by pushing the play here and now DaVinci Resolve is thinking and tracking the mask we just did and also this new technique is done with the new neural engine in DaVinci Resolve which is a very very clever engine. So there we go and um, we have now done a track. Let's uh, turn off the mask and let's turn off the line here as well. So now we've done a pretty decent track of this. So now we have the control over me, for instance. So if we want to boot my light up or down, we can do so. Also, if we want to, we can go over again here in this icon here. And if we click this, we are going to do the same, but to the background. So now everything is is in the background so we're going to use the foreground here so we can do some small corrections like that so of course if we zoom a bit in here and we will toggle on the layout again we can see that it's having some issues around the corners here but we can actually fix that because we have a lot of tools down here we can work with for instance we have we can shrink grow open and close and also we have some shape radiance but i think we could um, we'll do just fine with some blur radius so we're just going to crank that up let's say something like that maybe this off here. So I'll just show you a little trick you can do with this technique as well. So if we go up to our call page here, when right click we can add in a alpha out and we're just going to connect that here. So first off we can actually see how our mask is if using the alpha out and that's a pretty decent mask considering that I used less than two minutes on it. Um, so let's just jump into the editing tab because I want to show you a little trick here. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to drag in this clip here and I'm going to delete the audio. I'm going to push this underneath here and back in the color. So if we take the bottom clip here, what we actually can do is a super easy way to make the background out of focus. And once again, cheating a little bit. Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. We actually fade the depth of field in this way. Okay, let's, um, let's go to this clip here again, and then let's just uh, track a feature instead. I'm just going to reset the grade here, and I'll go into the match mask. And this time I'm going to track a feature. So let's track um, 
So I do not have so much hair, so let's just track my face instead again. And we're just going to do like a line here. And let's see what we actually did track. It tracked the face. And then we just... Tr I'm going to yet again do a tracking. And actually I think the tracker is, has been proved also in, the, in version 17 and it's pretty fast I think. Okay, so there we are, all tracked. I'm just going to take out the output here. And I'm just going to turn off. So if we now wanted to do some kind of a grade to the face, or something strange to the face, we could do that. Make myself look like a smurf, we could do that. But of course that's not what we really want to do in these situations. We, we might want to lighten up the face a bit, something like that. Okay, so that was a look at the Magic Mask in DaVinci Resolve 17 Beta version 2. And of course in the near future I'm sure this tool will be improved and refined when we hit the final version of DaVinci Resolve 17. Anyways, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out, and if you want to be notified every time there is a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.